Hey guys, how are we doing today? I'm Andrew and welcome to a new video. For today, it's going to be the episode three of the FIM Super Grand Prix. Last episode, we get again, we won the Grand Prix. So we won the Polish Grand Prix and we won the Finnish Grand Prix. And uh, next up, we got the Czech Republic in Prague. Um, but for right now, um, I'm actually going to buy a brand new engine. Now, do I just ball out and go for this one? Just basically just checking just something. I think I'm going to go and ball out and buy this one here. Because why not? Fix the clutch a bit. I don't really know if the clutch is a massive deal, but I'm going to buy more of these anyway. And, uh... Change... Well, actually, I'm going to buy a new frame, actually. Um... Apart from that, we're going to go straight into it, guys. So thank you guys ever so much for watching the past two episodes. Uh, I'll leave a link... Uh, actually, no. Yeah, I'll leave a link in the description to the last episode. I would go and recommend to watch, actually, the first two episodes if you want to. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're going to go to the third round of the FIM Super Grand Prix in Czech Republic. And let's go, shall we? Alright, then. Heat 1. We're not in Heat 1. Doesn't matter. We're actually in Heat 2. Uh, looks like Greg won the first one, which is fair enough. Um... We've got Yarrick Campbell, Thomas H. Johnson, Andreas Johnson, and Jason Doyle, of course. Um, we're going to just check to see. Alright, okay, I was just I was just checking. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, let's go straight into it, shall we? And, uh, you, know, we're, like, we're, you know, we've done quite well. The, the only problem is in the last two episodes, that is, uh, like, I feel like... You know, we, we're kind of like dropping points which we shouldn't be. Like, you know, we foul and we touch the tapes. Do you know what I mean? Not really ideal. I just hope we actually feel faster in this episode. Not really the best start by me, though, but... And then again, can't really do a lot about that. I'm going far too wide. I don't really want to go out. I don't really want to go out wide early on. Well, he kind of lifted there a little bit there. I had to go out wide then to see if I can somewhat and then just cut back inside on Yarek. Cheers and Yarek, I appreciate you. Yarek's coming straight on the inside saying, not today, George. I'm like, well, uh, sorry lad, but I'm going to come straight back in again. And we are comfortably now in first place, which is what I want. That I went far too wide again, and Yarek's gonna of course be there, which is fair enough. I understand. I had to do some. I, I mean, I had to basically cut him off there at least. But we're gonna pick up the win. Fifty-five point zero four. Not bad. Not bad at all. I, I take that. Um, you know, can't can't complain about that. I've, honestly, the engine does feel a lot better. Of course, obviously, you pay for a better engine. Makes sense. Did feel fast. We're on Heat heat 8 and we got uh, Nicky Pettersson, Ty Wolfenden and Troy Batchelor. Going to be a tough race, but I'm not going to change my tyres though. That's what I'm not going to do. And uh, looks like, where's the grip at then? The grip mostly looks like it's going to be kind of in the middle of the track really. Um, which is ideal. So yeah, let's go straight into it, shall we? So we are in, what are we in? Gate 2. Sorry, I was thinking who I was then. I was like, where am I? <laughs> Here we go then. Here we go. Right. Good start by me. Thank you very much. Not a bad first little, uh, little, uh, what more trying to say? First little lap there. Kind of cruising in this one, actually. Middle track, middle track, there we go. Alright, saying that Pettersson's comes, hang on. Where's Pettersson come from here? It's not really what I want, Pettersson. Can you go away, please? Woohoo! All right, then, Nicky. Nicky, w I mean, come on, Nicky. Like, you know what I mean? No, Nicky, no, no, Nicky, not like this. 
Damn it, man. Jesus Christ. It's my own fault. I was I was thinking, yeah, man, I'm, I'm cruising. When I said about dropping points, that is, you know, a point dropped in my opinion. Because I felt like I was cruising the first two laps. And then Nicky just came out of nowhere and uh, pipped me, really, in my opinion. But, oh, well, we're in gate one this time. And we are going to actually change the tyres. And uh, let's boost this up a little bit, I think. Uh, all right. I mean, five points from two rides can't complain really, but I can't win every race. I can't win every race. But then again, I wouldn't mind winning everything. Not bad. That's actually a very, very good uh, bend from me, actually. I actually, you know, I, I kept my speed then, and I'm, I'm kind of gaining more and more. I will always check behind me sometimes. I don't know if that, kind of, if that bothers you guys, but I kind of like to see where they are. Alright then, cheers then, I was I didn't actually speak too much because I wanted to actually get this win this time, rather than being cocky in the last one, like, yeah man, I've got it all good, I've got it all good, but, yeah, another convincing win from me there. Heat 14 looks like we're in next with Greg, Wildcard, and KK, Wolfenden's on the same amount of points as us, but then again, he's rode 4, we've only rode 3, and, yeah. I just boost this down a little bit actually because I don't really want to blow up my engine yet. Just saying. Because that's what happened to me quite a few times whilst doing this. Alright. I was gonna say, like, it, like, did he, did he just fall off? Because I thought that would have been a restart then. That's weird. Cheers, Greg. I mean, Greg's a legend, of course, but. No, not not on my watch, Greg. Not today. Sorry, Greg. Bloody hell. Whoa! Where was I going then? Where was I going then? No idea. But anyway, another convincing win. Can't complain, really. So, the final race of the uh, normal racing, I guess. We have qualified anyway, but we've got Holder, Harris, and Zagar. Uh, Holder needs to win. Zagar cannot qualify, and... Who else have we got? Harris. I mean, he, he could, I guess. If he, Well, I suppose Harris needs to win this one, really, but... It's going to be very, very unlikely that he is going to reach the semis, even if he does win the... Uh, win this race, that's what I meant to say. But anyway, I think, you, I, I suppose you can kind of scrape seven points to get into the semis, but it just depends, but eight you kind of guaranteed in, in a way. I think the only problem with me is I go far too wide, like, especially on the first bend. And especially if I, if I don't make the gate, I'm kind of screwed. Two Aussies battling it out. 
first. Jason Doyle right behind. Chris, Chris Holder is overtaken. Chris Holder is overtaken. Holder's actually giving me a good race here. Since when is Harris never in fourth place? Do you know what I mean? All right, then. Thank you very much. Another convincing win once again. Um, I can't. Really, I, I don't really know what to say because obviously I want us to be challenging, guys. Obviously, um, that's why once this kind of like season's done, I'm kind of just introducing this kind of thing. Really, uh, I will go on to hard, so it's going to be difficult for me as well because I've only really played a couple of races on hard, and it is obviously difficult. Um, obviously, because it's hard, obviously. Um, but uh, in the first semi-final, we've got Wuffenden, Niels, and Holder. Now, I don't really know what gate to go for. I really don't. I, I really just don't know what gate to go for, really. Uh, one, two, three, four. I'm going to go gate three, then. That I just literally just guessed. And that's the worst particular gate, in theory, we, we could have got. But, oh, well. Looks like, uh, what was it? Gate 2 looks like the best. So, yeah. Alright, then. I, I couldn't really... I didn't really know, really. I was just guessed anyone. I don't really pay too much attention to it anyway. But then again. Okay. Um... Not really where I want to be right now. This is not really where I want to be right now, lads. Come on. Okay. Well, at least I'm in a semi decent position now, I guess. Holders can't fly. He's flying here, isn't he? But hold on, I can easily catch up with you, all right? Chris Holder takes the lead. It could end up badly. First, Jason Doyle. Chris Holder is overtaken. Entering the last bend. Last bend. After a very, very poor start in that race, we've come out the victor. Very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. In the final, it looks like we've got Greg. Yarrick and Holder, of course. Alright. I'm picking gate two this time, then. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we're all good now, yeah? Alright, here we go. Change tyres, and boom. Okay, 17 points. Can't complain about that one. Considering... Would it be nice to get a 21 point maximum? That's my aim for this series. Great start. The question is, can we actually make 3 out of 3 this time? Can we win 3 Grand Prix in 3 episodes? So far, it looks like we can, but I'm not going to jinx it yet. Maybe went a little bit too wide, I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Okay, going into the final lap now. And three wins from three, guys. I'll take it. Thank you very much. 54.90 uh, seconds. Take that very much. And 20 points from seven rides. That is very, very good. That is very, very good. So three, two, three, 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 three. That was too many threes, but you know what I mean. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching today's video, guys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. I'll speak to you guys very soon. Guys, have a good day and goodbye.